it gives me great pleasure to welcome you all to the mini conference on learning and teaching at Hong Kong IED. This year our theme of the conference is engaging student learning. Engaging student learning is not only a slogan for learning and teaching conference this year. In fact, it is the aim, the process, and also the ultimate outcomes that we want to pursue in the Hong Kong IED. How much taxpayer pay your salary? And why do you want to pay your high salary? Because they want you to cultivate a good next generation. They want you, you to do a good job to cultivate, to teach well of the kids. Some teachers saw disengagement, passivity as a challenge, a provocation. What do they do? Many teachers saw it this way. Uh, they tried to go with these students into engaging. They fill the teaching with relentless enthusiasm. They painstakingly learned all of these students' names. They got rid of text-heavy PowerPoint shows. I thought it might be a good idea uh, to start up the discussion with the student uh, talking about their experiences as a student. Now, for the e-learning school-based planning, the most difficult part is what? It's because they are in their own school context for a long time already. When you ask them to plan, they will raise a lot of issues related to the school. One is that uh, the experiential learning aspects and how really we want to have the structure to do it. And the other aspect is about the infrastructure of the whole tertiary education. Recent, very recent authentic example which is well known to Hong Kong people that you will pick up to illustrate the topic teachers professional ethics. Group exercise, then they have to do some presentation, follow up, etc. It, it can be easy, easily done. But, but whether they are academically or intellectually engaged in the learning process is uh, difficult and also very challenging. The activities are organized around four subordinate themes, namely enhancement of learning and teaching process, mainly refer to ICT and on ICT approaches, broad phrase and evidence-based learning experience of students, building capacity for high quality teaching, and last but not least, assessment and evaluation. To realize the concept of uh, using ICT to cater for individual difference, okay, it is a, a real case to share with our students. Students don't have experience with doing that, and so what I found is that they needed a lot of guidance in how to frame interview questions, how to, how to identify what a research question is and, and write a research question. Students need extra scaffolding, not enough just to stand up and then ask them questions and get them to respond, but they're going to uh, need extra scaffolding, extra help. We, we introduced teachers to the use of things like realia, uh, for example, pictures, visual support, visual clues, uh, and, and multimedia video clips and so on. So in that five years, we must see development, we must see growth, we must see joy, we must see people who are growing into uh, academics, whatever field they're going into, but learners, lifelong learners. Technology is individual, user-focused, mobile, networking, anytime, anywhere, it's really reliable. In the portfolio uh, really be, depends on the uh, purpose of individual staff. So different staff may have their own purpose of building one. Um, and this is related with the mental level because you can um, consider this as being subsumed, okay, in the department, within the department level. Really? Because you can see, actually I'm, I'm teaching phonetics monology and I compile different kind of uh, learning material, teaching materials, and online resources, recommended readings in my TDG project. So through this website, they can have better idea what I'm teaching and whether they would like to take my course or not. It helps me evaluate my own approach to teaching. What is it that matters to me? 
what it is that I would like my students to know about me before they come to my class. To create some innovative, evidence-based health practices for the student learner or the educator, because we would like to promote the healthy lifestyles in both school or in a community setting. So the project aims are to promote using mobile technologies in teaching and learning in the institute, and also to bind together individuals or small groups to form a larger community of mobile learning that integrates subject learning in English. Knowledge loss is very uh, serious problem for any organization because uh, it decreases the innovation, reduce with, with, uh, efficiency, and reduce uh, capacity for uh, growth. So one of the ways they seek attachment is the relationship with the mentors. So uh, they may try to connect or try to meet with some colleagues in uh, some occasions, uh, by different occasions they exposed to when they perform their jobs and duties.